What's up? We're at JD Performance on the dyno with my buddy John Kuhn and his Monte Carlo. We did a video on his brother's car, that green Monza, that uh, nitrous LS car. And this is a Turbo 5.3, right? 5.3. What's all done to it? Uh, it's 241 heads. It's uh, slightly low compression stock, so it's right at 9.0. Uh, we're not really going for a high dyno number, really. We're just my, my main concern is safeties and stuff like that, so keep, yeah. it a little, keep it a little hot. See where it's at, what it can make. We know we're going to run out of fuel system, but you know we're going to have some fun to what it will make safely, and then he just knows where to upgrade from there. But it's a Gen 3 stock pod man. Yeah, stock pod man. Uh, what cam? Uh, uh, stage 2 triple cam. Uh, what did you say, 84 pound injectors? 84 pounds of DCAT flex fuels. Uh, that are all foil matched. Uh, they, they work pretty good. Yeah, it so, gets down. This thing's so loose. You jump on that back corner, this front corner flings up. I mean, the whole car's so loose, it, it works really well on the street. But we're going to start uh, tuning this thing, see where it's at. I made a few adjustments, but it's basically the same where it's been. What is it, 78, 75? 78, 75. Gen, Gen 2. 2. Baller turbo. I mean, for the size and the horsepower it makes, you can't get a better turbo for the money. That's about it, really. Pretty simple deal. Still wants more timing, but we're out of fuel system. Uh, it made 530 what? 531. 531 on 15 pounds, and the plug still show wants more timing. So I bet you it'd make 600 on 15 pounds once it, the tune is cleaned up. And that's right on par with where it really should be, I think. I mean, that's pretty close to where it yeah. should be. It might be a little low, but still, I mean, 600 on 15 pounds. That, I mean, that's theoretically. It made 530 on 15 and still wanted more timing. Yeah. It was just safe, you know, for a skinny rod 5.3. Yeah, skinny rod 5.3. So really, that's probably all right. You know, a lot of times on the bigger turbo stuff with intercooler and all that, we'll make, you know, 500 on 5 pounds and start going up from there. But that's getting pretty aggressive with everything, you know, on a bigger rod motor. Yeah, do you think it is pretty nice that it still wants more timing? We don't want to give it that. Yeah, we don't want to give it that. It's got skinny rods and we're out of fuel system. Um, we turned off all the safeties because I had a bunch of fuel safeties on it and we were fighting those. And I was like, screw it, let's turn off the safeties and see what it'll do. And uh, duty cycle went really high. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> duty cycle's high. Boost curve looks good. Boost was good. We're controlling boost good. It made a flat 15 pounds. And uh, duty cycle just kept going over and over and over, higher than what it should. But yeah, it was uh, it was on its way up. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I put my safeties back on it for the street. We just kind of wanted to see where it would be at with the timing it wanted on the dyno. Uh, but it was definitely way under timed. But uh, yeah, um, still competitive for the street. Yeah. Um, and upgrades for the future. What are you doing? Uh, it'll probably get a six liter next. Uh, bigger injectors, second pump. Um, I'm still kicking around the idea for nitrous. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Um, there's a lot of room in this car for an intercooler, but I would love to see an intercooler on it. <laughs> <laughs> so, in the future, we'll see. The I was the second pull. It it got the 200 inlet air temps. Um, 
every pull after that, we had the little blower fan blowing right on the turbo, and it never got hot after yeah, that. It was like 160, 170 maybe? I don't think it was. I think it's 140, 150. Um, that's really low. So. so I know if it had an intercooler, it'd be making more power too. I mean, because I mean, you're, the hotter the air, the less power you're going to be making. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. The day started out kind of crappy, but it got a little better, and then we found our limitation of the fuel system, and we know where to go from here, and that's got good potential, everything's still a safe amount of boost, and safe for what it is now, well, head gas is fixed, but... Yeah, you said you never changed this no. one. No, no, we did one. Didn't so you changed the other one, but you never changed this one, and this one started leaking. So that might also be why it's down. Yeah. Because in the dyno graph, it was making good power, had a little dip, and then kind of made good power again. So I don't know, maybe that's head gasket lifting ahead a little bit where peak torque was, and that's why the power went down a little bit. Yeah, I think it was the second to last pool, it was just climbing, and then it was just, oh, then when it hit all the safeties, it just yeah. Yeah. didn't want to play anymore. No. So. But this motor is, has lasted you the longest than all the motors have. Insanely. <laughs> it owes me nothing. <laughs> so it'll uh I've never blown up a motor yet to where it's windowed the block. Yeah. And I want to, but I don't want to. It's at that point. Let's get some fuel system in it. Leave yeah. everything else alone. Yeah. Get some nitrous. Throw that gas in it and uh turn it to the moon and pin the gate shut. Yeah, yeah. Turn it all the way up, who cares? Uh the last skinny rod motor I tuned was uh Alex, Alex Williams, and we made 737 on it on 20 pounds. With it was still under timed, um, but uh, it, it lasted it lasted almost the whole season before it chucked a rod, which is pretty good. I and mean, I want to say this motor's been in here what a year, maybe, maybe yeah, about a year, probably close to a year, um, yeah. So it's lasted surprisingly. <laughs> Yeah, so I'd like to get a big rod, big rod motor in here and really see what that turbo will do. Yeah, yeah, it's a great turbo. It spools up quick. It, it's a uh, VS Racing 7875, which I think we said that in the beginning, but um, badass turbo. I love it. So other than that, and the more power we put at it, the better the, the higher the convertible flash. Yeah, because it seems yeah. like it's really laggy at first because converters so tight because we weren't making shit for power. Yeah, it is um, it's supposed to be 3500 stall. Little we'll uh, break with it. It's a PTC. It's a ten. But it's right? a ten inch. Yes, yeah, ten inch. And that kind of kills it. Yeah. Um, before this car had a, a turbo 350 that we broke, <laughs> and then I broke again. And then um, you decided to come to a glide. Where yeah, it's got a glide in it now. Power glide. Uh, Mosher 12 volt. 355s. Um, the car will have the mile an hour on the big end, so and I think that's why it keeps it competitive. <laughs> but it'll really mile per hour once it doesn't run out of fuel. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 